Uh, hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and uh, today I wanted to show you how I uh, did the music video for J Rice titled Work Hard. Out of my colleagues, I seem to work the hardest. I never had money, so I worked to where I am now. My team with me, you'll never see a man down. My family and single mom, they be struggling. Life speeding up, so I got the seat buckle in. I promise mom, if I make it big one day, she. The whole video is pretty much shot uh, using uh, using one light, or at least one light in, in each shot. I shot the whole music video on the Canon 70. And the first shot that I'm gonna show you how I did is uh, are basically all these sh shots up here that you can see where he's walking through the streets. Um, usually, when people shoot stuff outside, you know, if you're shooting during the day, it's it's okay because you're, you know, you're just using the, the the sun, and and you can get a good enough exposure. But when you're filming at night, especially, um, uh, or just you know, and, and sometimes it could be during the day, but in some dark alleys or something or in the forest, uh, you really do want to, uh, you know, use another light source, something to, to basically uh, kind of fill in or brighten up your, your subject's face. Now, this is a, the ultimate, I would say, you know, low, low budget kind of uh, technique, uh, and it's only really going to work if you have one subject. If you have uh, a scene where you have, you know, more than one person that you need to light, then you will, I mean, you can try doing it this way, but I would say uh, you're pretty much going to have to invest, you know, into a bigger production, you know, get bigger lights, which generally means you need a uh, big, uh, you know, power generators on location. And then because of that, you need permits and all that stuff. So it's just getting into a whole other ballgame. But uh, but for a low, low budget kind of a music video, you can pull this off uh, as, as long as you're smart about it. So these shots up here, um, you know, they're fairly dark, which which was you know something that, that I did on purpose. Yeah, like with any production, first you gotta make sure that you find uh, a good location, uh, you know, and then make sure you have your subject has the right kind of you know costume, outfit, all that stuff. Uh, so here we I wanted this kind of a dark kind of a, you know lonely mood in these shots. So I found this location in in, in, uh, in Toronto where uh, basically most of the street is is just you know completely in pitch black. And then it, there's just a few of these little uh, street lights that light up, you know, parts of the walls and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, just g giving it that kind of a moody feeling. And then also, as you see there, that brick wall texture and that kind of stuff. And um, and it, we didn't have, again, a permit, you know, permission to film there. So we really had to be very quick. And so the way that I did it is uh, by, by basically holding the camera myself and the single light that we used in the shot. This is how uh, these shots basically in that location look without the light. It's a very quick little, little glimpse as you can see. Uh, since the lighting was usually inside the stores or for example just a little bit of a light on the wall there, uh, uh, our, um, my subject is basically in complete pitch black. Um, so in order to just you know, be able to get an exposure on his face, I had to uh, get this little um, portable, it's like, it's like a battery powered uh, LED light. And you can pick those up, up you know, on eBay or uh, pretty much, you know, there's, there's a lot of retailers online where you can find these lights. Some are, uh, you know, use like AA batteries, you just put a bunch of them in there. This one uses like a, a battery pack. And uh, it had, I think, around 50 LEDs, little LEDs in there. And they're pretty cool because the, the battery will last you for a few hours. Uh, you can adjust the brightness of it. And uh, and then the only other thing I really did, as you can see up here, is I put um, a little diffusion paper over it just to kind of soften the light a little bit so the shadows weren't as harsh. And then, as you can see up here, I would walk with the light. Uh, and, and I you know held, held the light in one hand. And in the other, I held uh, the camera. And, uh, and, you know, I just got the shot. And uh, key thing about, you know, when you're lighting a, a, your subject that way is to get, um, uh, to, to get the, the right angle for the light. Uh, you kind of want it, you know, uh, you kind of want the light to be sort of face, you know, sort of head on in front, in front of the, 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 your subject and just a little bit higher than their eye line so that it kind of creates these light little shadows sort of under the nose and, you know, under the chin but yet the shadows aren't too noticeable. If you put the light up too high, it will create very, very, you know, very harsh and noticeable shadows, which again, if you want that kind of a look, then that's great. But in here, I didn't really want that light to be that obvious. So I, I kind of, you know, I, I, I put the light a little bit higher. Now, the reason why you don't also want the light too low is because then it will create shadows in, in the other direction. So, whereas, you know, that this, 
t sort of a slight shadow under the chin and under the nose it doesn't seem that out of place um, in my opinion so that's the reason why I did that and uh, and yeah and that's it and then I had the camera mounted on this little uh, steady cam I guess you can call it uh, as a little uh, stabilization system uh, wasn't the greatest but it's it worked out okay uh, so these are the the rough takes here you can see this is how it looks before the color correction and um, and then once you have that uh, this is how it looks after the the final color correction so that's pretty simple um and again if i had no light in there it would just be you know the subject would just be pitch black uh and i use that actually uh in in, in other settings too like example here we're shooting in this parking lot with the view of uh, the toronto skyline behind us and um there were some lights there uh, as you can see here this is a shot just using the, the lights that are at the parking lot but because the lights are really high up uh they create basically uh because of the the the, the hat there, the baseball cap, the, our subject just has these really, you know, just big harsh shadows on, on the face, and it's just kind of a little bit underexposed. So, by adding that little light, again, the same light, just and hand holding it, it just right away brightens up his face, and and also, you know, those those small little shadows again under his nose and, and chin just kind of add that little. It's 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 like a I almost call it like a Hollywood starlet look because back in the day, actually, you know, in the 40s and, and, and 50s, uh, like when, you know, when you look at old Marilyn Monroe photos, that was actually the kind of lighting that was used back then. It was pretty much just one light um, and it was placed, again, uh, just facing the, the, the subject's face and just a little bit, high, you know, above the, uh, the, the eye line. And... Um, and that's exactly the same thing that I used in this setting here. And it just basically brightens up his face. And then when you add the final color correction, you can see it, uh, it makes a big difference. Actually, you can see that shadow under the baseball cap, and then and then under the chin, you know, a lot more. Uh, I'll show you also very quickly how I did this shot, this little performance shot in the dark. Um, this shot was uh, was done uh, simply because we didn't have access to the studio. It was done. In a, in a room, uh, just I put some black fabric there. I just taped it to the wall and behind the subject, as you can see. And then uh, I had uh, one light. Well, here you can see me experimenting. I had two lights. There's like a, this little blue light I put in behind him. But eventually ended up uh, removing that light. And basically all that I have is just one light. It's a softbox, um, which is, uh, you, again, you could use that probably that LED light, but it's with you know i wanted really soft shadows so with soft shadows basically you want the light to be a, a, as wide as possible uh so the the bigger the wider the soft box the, the better it's going to be and uh, and i just placed that light again right in front of his face just a little bit up uh, 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 up above him and uh, just you know i had to adjust the angle so that we got these you know these shadows under the baseball cap and under the you know the the, the chin that weren't too big so you know we kind of wanted that look that you know when he when, when jay rice kind of looks down his eyes are in the shadow and then when he looks up uh he, his eyes are visible and that's it and then the rest is just color correction uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh please check out my my channel tom antos films for uh, many other filmmaking tutorials uh you know lighting tips and tricks uh, little effects you know uh tutorials that kind of stuff and uh, as always don't forget to rate comment and subscribe thanks